How's it going, ladies and Bruce is on Bobby Six Gun, and welcome to a series we're going to be doing on a game called Last On, or Last Stone, Behind the Choice, or at least I think it's going to be a series. I haven't really decided yet because I haven't played it yet, but it was one I just actually came across the other day. I had no idea it had come out, but it came out this year, quite a bit earlier this year. I had no idea about it. It's only got two reviews, um, but I was looking up stuff about the game that I'm working on, <laughs> and uh, I just came across it, which was interesting. And, you know, the art looks really cool and everything. Uh, so I thought we'd give it a go, and uh, we'll see what we think. Uh, it is a puzzle, visual novel thing, so, you know, the huge. Let's jump into story mode and uh, see what we think, eh? Like, if we're not really into it, we can move on to the next one. That's fine. Choose a character you want to play. I only have one option. His name's uh, Steve. You can skip the dialogue by holding the control button. That is the norm. It should be just another day of my life. I was on my way back home after a tiresome day. The sun is set and the stars are hiding behind some clouds. My train comes at a perfect time. I step inside and find an empty seat to sit. Time passed and I almost fell asleep on the train. Suddenly, a loud sound struck my ear. That is the last thing I can remember. When I come to my senses, I feel pain all across my body. I opened my eyes and saw something weird. The sky is purple. Startled by the vision, I tried to stand up. I failed. My legs would not listen to me. Uh, what the hell happened? I shouted and looked around. A woman with white hair approached me. I see that you're already awake. Do you know who you are? Uh, I, my name is Hans. I'm a salary man. It looks like you still have some trouble standing up. Do not worry. Your body is still adjusting. Give it some time and it'll function normally again. Adjusting? What happened to me? Where is this place? I do not know what happened to you and why you're here, but I can tell you that this place is the netherworld. The woman walks away, leaving me confused with her answer. I observe my surrounding. There are some people, ruined buildings and broken vehicles. This place does not feel like the world that I know. I recall the, what the white-haired woman said. This place is the netherworld. What kind of place is this? As I begin to collect my thoughts, I realize that I could have, I could move my toes already. After some attempts, I can walk again. I approach the nearby people. They seem to be playing something. Looks like I've lost. I think I'll take a break first. Take your time. The woman quickly leaves. Something seems to be bothering her. I wonder if it's because of the game that she played. Man over there. Yes, you. Perhaps you want to play the game with me too? Uh, no. I only want to see what you guys are playing. Thanks for the offer. I believe this is not the time to play some games, so I quickly leave him. Am I... Interacting? Excuse me. What do you want? I want to ask you something. Speak. What is this place? Everything feels so strange. It's like I'm in another world. This is another world indeed. Can I... Return to my world? You can. Is that true? How? My master can grant you access to your world, although there is a condition. Anything. This place creeped me out. You must win a game from my master. Game? What game? That man there can explain it to you. Welcome back. Do you want to play the game? She told me that I could go back to my world if I could win a game against her master. Are you her master? Oh, she's referring to Master Lucifer. My name is Faust, and she is ha Hal. We are Master Lucifer's assistant. I see. Where can I find your master? You can follow this road to get to Master Lucifer's room. If you want to challenge him, I suggest you be prepared. What kind of game that I am I required to play? It's a game played with stones and containers. Perhaps you already know the game. No. Okay, I'll explain it to you, sir. First, we set up the game by filling containers with stones. We'll play the game by taking turns choosing a container and taking stones from the container of our choice. The one that takes the last stone is the winner. The one that takes the last stone. Wait, isn't this Nim? But isn't it the one who takes the last stone is the loser? You understand how to play the game? Yeah, I suppose. Talk to me if you want to try the game. Alright, let's try it. Do you want to try the game? Sure, let's give it a shot. Please wait a bit. I will set the game up here. I thought it was whoever took the last one as the loser. I thought that's how Nim worked. Hey, what is this place? Your friend told me that this place is called Netherworld, and it is different a different world from the one I know. Let us say you fell into the sea, 
and stranded on a small island which is unknown to the rest of the world. That island is the netherworld. In that sense, you are correct. I finished the setup. Now, shall we play the game? Okay. Sure. Okay, before we begin, let me tell you some additional rules. You can only take a maximum of three stones from each jar. Okay. Okay, let's start. If it's only gonna be one jar. Wait, is there four in the jar to start with? Well, then you go first. Don't be in a hurry, take your time. I take one from the jar. Okay. Three. Genius. Okay. You're good at this. This is nothing. You need to be at least this good to make money. Huh, <laughs> right. You did mention you're a salary man. Are you making a lot of money? I think so. What's with the pause? A long time ago, I thought money was everything to me. I paused again trying to remember something. When I was a child, I lived on the outskirts of the city. My mom always goes out to work, goes out working until night. My dad, I never met him. It was just the both of us living here in a small apartment that we called home. It's already night. Mum has not come back. I'm alone here, waiting for her to come back. I do my homework with the TV turned on, so I'm not feeling lonely. I could hear her footsteps coming from the front door. Mum just came back from her work. I stood up from my seat to greet her. You've had dinner, Hans? I had, Mum. She patted my head and hugged me with her thin and frail body, the smell of street dust and stills in my nose. Let me change my clothes first, alright? She stands up and walks to our living room. Mum, can I ask you something? She turns around and looks at me. Sure, darling. I need money to buy stuff for school, but... She looks at me and heaves a sigh. I know we cannot afford extra expenses. We only have just enough money to live each month. I can see her concern on her face, but she's smiling. She always does. It's alright, darling. Mum will handle it. So don't worry about money, okay? She always said she'd find the way. I know she's going to take a loan for me. She also going to, she's also going to work on multiple jobs to make ends meet. Everything so I can enjoy my childhood. If only we had more money. Mum should not need to suffer like this. Never again I want to see my family suffer. If I had a lot of money, I can get out of this situation. Yes, with money, I can make Mum happy. I will make money. Millions of it. So we do not need to feel this harsh life again. I told the man my story. He shows some interest in it. I see. So that was why money was important for you. Yeah, my life was kind of rough in the past. That's the reason why I was obsessed with money. But you said it was in the past, right? What changes? That... I cannot remember. I see. Perhaps your memory is still adjusting too, similar to your legs before. Maybe I'm just going senile. Haha, <laughs> you're still young. At least not as old as me. Pardon me, how old are you again? In your world's standard? My age should be a couple of hundred years. Oh. Then is your friend also... It is inappropriate to discuss a lady's age, don't you think? You're right. My bad. Thanks for the game. I think I'll go look around. See you later. Oh, hello. I approach the woman that plays with Faust before me. Her troubled, troubling face that I saw concerns me. Hey, you alright? I... I'm alright. It's good to hear that. My name's Hans. So, uh, I saw you playing that game with the man Faust. Perhaps you also got here involuntarily? Call me Louis. Or Louise. Yes, I suddenly woke up here and I do not remember anything about how I ended up here. Me too. What a weird situation we got here. So, I heard you can get out if you win a game against Lucifer. You gonna play the game with him as well? Lucifer? Right. I must defeat Lucifer. I have to get out. I must get out of here immediately. I need to get better at the game. Play the game with me. I have no time to waste. Calm down a bit, ma'am. What happened to you? I... He's waiting for me. Will you play with me or not? Yeah. If you insist. For rules, we take a maximum of three stones from each gem. Okay. Eleven. Who will go first? Uh, I'll go first. I'll take three. Not twenty. Why is there even double digits? Is there going to be heaps later? Hmm, this will be tricky.
Nice. So as long as I leave you with four. God damn it. So I take two. You're up. Smart move. I take two from the jerk. That means you lose. It was fun. I lost. How can this be? I have to play more. Calm down, man. You lost because you're not thinking clearly. I... But he is... The key to the game is to read a few steps ahead of your opponent. You cannot do that if something else is bothering you. Oh no. What have I done? Have you calmed yourself? Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry about my outburst before. No problem. Why are you so obsessed with getting out? Someone is waiting for my return. That is why. Do you not have one? I thought about a question for a bit. Do I have someone like that? My mum was long gone. As I start thinking about it, I remember about my wife. <laughs> I forgot I had a wife. Oh yeah. Beep beep, the alarm goes off. I woke up and sat on the edge of my bed. The clock told me that it was 5.30 in the morning. My wife also woke up and turned off the alarm. Why did you set the alarm so early? I need to work. Today's your day off, is it not? My boss called last night. He offered me an urgent job that just came in. He said he would give me a bonus if I can complete it today. But... My wife paused. She averted her gaze to our family photo above the table near the bed. In the photo, our son smiles brightly, holding a ball in his hands. You promised to play with him on your day, on your day off this week. Are you going to break your promise with him again? It's like liar liar. I forgot about it. But dear, I need to do this for our future. Is it not enough already? You even have enough savings for our children's future and our pension. Hans, listen to me. I know you're concerned about money, but is, is it not okay to take a day off for our son? It's still not enough. What if we need money for an emergency? What if Liam got sick or maybe got into an accident? I shouted at my wife. She might understand where I was coming from, but she had never actually been there. I don't want my family to experience what I've been through in the past. I love them. I'm sorry, Anna. Let me do this for our future. I promise. The room went silent. My wife looked sad. Perhaps I got too harsh with her. If you think that's for the best, then go for it. I'll explain it to Liam. I'm sorry, Anna. I'll make up for it later. I suit up, getting prepared to go out for work. When I was about to leave, I thought about my what my wife had said. Is this really for the best? I walk out to work without really concluding that question. According to my recollection, I'm not the, on the best terms with my wife and son. If I'm gone, are they going to miss me? Sir? Are you alright? Sorry, I was thinking about your question. I do have a family, but I'm not sure they'll miss me when I'm gone. May I ask what happened? It's nothing. I love them so much that I might have neglected them. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. But it is alright. All I need for them is for them to be happy. I do not think they're happy if you're neglecting them. For now they might not. There is a price for everything. But I believe a day will come when I can spend more time with them. It is an investment that I'm willing to make. Do you not think it is sad? Having your love not return to you for the time being? It might be sad, but I believe it's better than having no one to love at all. You're right. I think we can agree on that matter. Thank you for the game. I hope your relationship with your family gets better. You're welcome, and thank you too. Ah, uh, we move it on then. Up this way. And you are? Greetings. My name is Lucifer, Keeper of the Soul. May I know what your is the purpose of your visit? I want to ask about something. Speak. I've been thinking about this for a while. I was aboard a train and suddenly there was a loud sound. I think I had an accident. I do not want to believe it, but am I dead already? The dead have no place in this world. As you stand here in front of me, you are also still alive in your world. Then, are you the Grim Reaper? Harvesting souls is not my primary job, as you can deduce from my epithet. I look after souls that got lost in this place. Am I one of those souls? Correct. How could I, if I'm still... How could I be still alive if I'm just a soul? Losing a soul does not mean the death of a body. They merely just become an empty vessel. However, the prolonged non-existence of the soul may lead the body to, its, to meet its demise. But fear not, as the time in this space had nothing to do with your world. I see. So I, came, I can be here as long as I want. Correct. I want to get back to my world. That's nothing but a menial task for me. Entertain me a bit. Why do you want to come back? There's no reason for me to be here. I'd rather go back and work. 
So you want to increase your wealth? Do you tell me. What would you use it for? It's not for me. It's for my family. I want them to enjoy a life where they don't have to worry about money. I see. So, is it your family that drove you to get back? It is your family. I understand your position. However, going back to your world might be the last choice you want to take, according to your gold. What do you mean by that? There is no reason for me to tell you about that, if there is only one path you can take. Defeat me in a game to open the other path, and I'll tell you a thing that you want to know. Alright. May the best player win. Before that, for the rules of the game, you can only take three stones at most from each jar. Let's begin. That's the same rule for every single one so far. Two jars. Two jars. Uh, pff, I don't know. Uh, you go first, I guess. I remember the situation if I recall correctly. I take two from the right jar. I take two from the right jar also. Good, now I'll take this much. I take two from the left jar. I take two from the right jar then. With this, the winner has been decided. I take one from the left jar. I take one from the right jar then. It's an interesting choice you make. I take two from the left jar. Guess I take two from the right jar, motherfucker. <laughs> Good game. Well played. Splendid. That was a good game. Can you explain to me why I would rather stay here than go back to my world? This would be faster. Lucifer touches my forehead. Suddenly my vision is black. I hear some noises vividly. Man is... alive. Quickly! We... move... block... feet... stuck... He... losing much blood. We have to amputate. What is that? That is some memories that you've forgotten before you arrived at this place. The train accident. Did... did they cut my legs? That would be the least of your concerns. Your insides also suffer heavy damage. No, this can't be. How am I supposed to work if I can't walk? I'm also going to need money for medication bills. All of the savings that I prepared for them will be gone. If you come back to your world, you will waste all the effort you've been doing for your family all these years, but you can spend your old age with them. If that is not your wish, you can choose not to go back and leave the fortune to your family for the future, but you cannot meet them anymore. Think about it carefully. Which one is the most important for you? The choice is yours to make. I mean, if all we cared about was making the money so that they can survive, and they, he genuinely doesn't think, uh, that they're gonna miss us anyway? We should stay. That would be the right thing to do for them. Are you sure of your decision? Do you not love them? I love them, but if going back would put them in a difficult situation, I'd rather stay here instead. You might not be the best husband, nor the best father, but losing you would still make them sad. It's for the best. I do not want them to go through what I was going through. If I come back, everything I've done for them will be meaningless. I see. May you find peace in your next journey. Thank you. I stand up and leave Lucifer's room. I walk to the edge of the ruins and gaze at the horizon. What is at the end of the path that I'm walking right now? Only the wind can tell. Hi Hans. I'll tell you some great news. Today Liam got a scholarship from his favourite junior football club. They said Liam impressed them. I said to him, you sure you want to do this? Because it'll be hard for him. Even when I say it's alright because you already saved money for us, he replied, it's a, he's okay. It'll help us financially to reach his dream as a football player. He's just like you. Oh man. He said, if I knew you were alive now, you'd be proud of him. I agree, but he missed you, dear. I miss you too. It's already been three years since you left this world. I'm sorry. I shouldn't cry in front of you. You already do this much for our family. Liam too says you're the best father. Good night, Hans. Please watch over us there. Alright, alright. That was cool. Uh, I say we jump back in, choose the other option in his story, and then we'll see what happens after that. We'll wrap it up after that, I suppose. Uh, continue? Oh, there's no saves. Okay. New game.
I make this to eight, then he can bring it down to. There you go. We got you that time. Dip shit. Alright, we're finally at the other choice for Hans. We're going to see what happens if we go back. Are you sure with your decision? I spend most of your savings on your treatment. There might be nothing left of it. Even if I might end up in a wheelchair for the rest of my life, I believe that there will be a way for me to make more money. It might not be as much as before, but we will manage somehow. I'm the living proof of it. On the other hand, this might be my only chance to reconcile with my family. I used all the time I had to work neglecting them in the process. This time, I want to be with them as long as I can. Please. Let me meet with my family again. Your wish is my command. When I regain my consciousness, I feel excruciating pain from all over my body. I tried to groan, but my throat felt dry. I see an unknown white ceiling when I open my eyes. I can vividly smell the antiseptics. Am I in hospital? I tried to move my legs, but no response. It was something that I feared. I remember someone was alerting me about this, but I cannot remember the details. Was it a dream? I look around and see my family. My wife is sleeping in a chair, my son beside me gripping my hand tightly. I patted my son's head. Liam. Anna. I feel relieved that I can still meet with my family again. Although I might not be able to walk again, I can spend more time with them. What, the what does the future hold for us? Any time will tell. All right, all right, that's interesting. All right, we're gonna wrap this one up here. Uh, there is another character that's unlocked now. So I guess we'll come back and we'll do the other characters one next time. Till then, if you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one. And let me know what you think of the game in the comments.